Hi, it's Hotkey, and in this screencast I'm going to show you how we can use floor plans within Pano 2 VR. Now floor plans can be used to geotag um, panoramas inside buildings, and they can be used in the skin, so when you produce a, a virtual tour and you need floor plans, the floor plans can be used there as well. Right, so I'm going to start off um, and we're going to add a floor plan. So the way we do that is we select the tour map, there it is, and what I'm going to do is click the green plus add floor plan and then I'm going to select an image from the uh, from my folder there we go so I'm selecting an image there's my floor plan and what we're going to do now is give it some data so I'm going to give it a more meaningful name so this is going to be the ground floor okay and then I'm going to give it a tag now this is useful because any panos on this floor will automatically get the tag ground so that's quite useful and I'm going to set the um, file type for the image to ping because this has got some transparency okay so that's my floor plan added and the data set so what we're going to do now then is we're going to geolocate this floor plan onto maps and the way we do that is I'm going to click the sextant tool and I'm going to click measure distance and I'm going to measure between two points that I know the width of in the floor plan so I'm going to click these two points and this happens to be 6.19 meters wide here we go and then I'm going to click the sextant again and geolocate map right so I'm going to select satellite view and then I'm going to type in a postcode because at the moment we don't know where we are in the world so I'm going to type in SE9 um, that should do. If I hit return, that should get me uh, close. If I zoom out a little bit, um, there we go. It's a new development. So there's the development there. So let's just um, zoom in a bit. There we go. And find where we are. Right. Okie dokie. Right. So we just so happens to be the footing. So if I double click, you'll see that the floor plan appears. Now the floor plan should be the right size to fit uh, onto the map. And the reason for that is because I chose or I set the measurement. If I hadn't have set the measurement, the floor plan could have been slightly too big or too small and you would have to use one of the handles to resize it. But as it turns out, because I've done the measurement, it should fit quite nicely onto the map and I can just overlay it like that. Okay, so when that's done, um, all I've got to do is click the sexton um, to come out. You can see um, that we've now got some geo-reference on the map so I'm just going to click the sextant to come out and what I would do is if I've, I've, I've got multiple floor plans here so I would click the geo reference and uh, copy this data to all the other floor plans so what we're going to do now is add our um, floor um, uh, our panoramas from the tour browser into the floor plan so just drag and drop and we're just going to add one at a time so there's the uh, cloakroom, I'm going to do the kitchen and then we're going to do the dining room, there we go okay now what I need to do at this point is set the north because at the moment we've just dragged and dropped so we've got the geolocation but we haven't set our north up so what I'm going to do is spin the panorama around until we're facing the back window then I'm going to hold down the N key to pick up the compass and then I'm going to spin this around so we're pointing the same way in the pano as we are in the map there you go so that's that uh, so that's the uh, dining area I'm just going to do the same thing for the kitchen so there's the kitchen there hold down the N key spin that around there we go and then we're going to do the same thing for the hall um, spin that around about there and there we go so that's that and then for the cloakroom so I'm going to spin that around um, it's about right there hold down the N key and set the north in there there we go so we're all pointing in the same direction um, and the idea is now that we can now um, link the panoramas together okay there's several ways of linking the, um, the uh, nodes together so I'm going to choose the quickest way which is link auto linking closest node 
and you can see now we've got the blue lines we've linked all the hotspots together now what I'm going to do is uh, command Z to get rid of that and I'm going to show you a manual way of doing it so I'm going to select a node and you can see I've got this link I'm going to click that and turn it red and we've got this link and I'm going to click the kitchen and you can see that we've now linked both ways together so I'm going to click the red to turn it blue on the link so that's we've come out of that now if I select this link button or the link in options you'll see that we've got um, click uh, link both ways but what I'm going to do now is show you um, switch node in link mode right so uh, what I'm going to do is remove this um, uh, link I'm going to go up here go back into link mode now when I click it, not only do we link both ways, but we also switch the node. So you can see, you can just carry on, and that's actually quite quick. And you can also see if I Alt, if I press the Alt key and click, we actually break the link. And if I click again, um, we can link back. Right, so I'm just going to click the red um, link button to, to stop the linking. Now the other thing you may have noticed was this red map pin. Now what that means is the when it's red that means the if i was to move uh, the the map pin in the floor plan um, we would change the geolocation or the gps data for this uh, map pin if i deselect that and moved it i wouldn't change the gps data it could be that you've got two map pins very very close on top of each other but you want to see them so what you can do is deselect it so once you've got it located deselect it move it to one side and even though the uh, you've moved the map pin, the GPS data will still remain the same. So you could actually move like the, what, uh, each pin slightly one to the left, slightly to the right, so you could clearly see them, but the GPS data would, would, would stay pinned to the map. Okay, so that's what that's doing. So if I click and turn that back on again. Right, so that's basically auto-linking and linking um, uh, the nodes. What I wanna show you now is the, um, uh, transformations of the of the map pins what I can do is hold down the shift key and select all the map pins if I do that and then hold down command you'll see that I can now move all the map pins in one go here you go so I'll just put that back I can also hold down command and rotate all the map pins here you go don't want to do that so I'll put that back and also what we can do is for hold down shift we can just select a couple of the map pins, press command, and we can move those over just like that. Okie dokie. So you've got quite a lot of control there. The other thing we can do is if I hold down the um, uh, shift, select all the map pins, hold down command, I can resize, but then distort the, the, the shape. And if I now press the command, but also shift, I can resize, but keep in the aspect ratio. Now I didn't include that one, so I'll just do that again. So if I hold down the shift, include all of the nodes, here we go, this time around, and then there we go, we can resize the whole cluster of map pins. Right, so whilst we're here, what I wanna do is show you what this looks like on the maps. If I go to satellite view, you'll see, and, and we'll zoom in, you'll see that we've got all of the um, pins here from all my different levels. As I say, I've got, um, ground floor, first floor. I've already set all the pins and, and linked them up, so we've got a lot of a lot of pins there. So if I go back to the satellite view, you'll see that they're all there. Now what we can do is we can use the um, browser's filter, and we're going to filter. Um, I'm just going to select ground floor, so I just see the ground floor panels, and we can filter here. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is obviously. If I um, change the, uh, if I go to the ground floor, if I um, literally just grab this lot, so let's shift, select them all, press command and move them over. Let's move them right over here. Oh, that's as far as it will go. If I go back to the satellite view, you'll see that I've moved them all. So one affects the other because they're all geo um, uh, geolocated. So if I just command Z to put them all back, you can see that one actually affects the other. So yeah, you gotta be careful if you're if you're in the map view and you start um, transforming the, the, the pins, you will actually change them in the floor plan as well. What I wanna show you next is um, the um, auto place feature of floor plans. Now, uh, sorry, of map pins, 
or nodes. Um, we've got the floor plan that's obviously um, been geolocated. And if you've got a camera that actually adds GPS data to your nodes, then it all you need to do is just drag and drop literally the node into the auto place and it will place it onto the map. So as an example, if I delete the, um, the cloakroom and the hall, if I now just, um, I'll select both of those because we can do them both together. If I drag them over, you'll see the auto place and as soon as I let go, it auto places them. Because I've got hotspots, it's actually auto linked as well. But, you know, um, if I hadn't have had that, then obviously I could have just done the auto linking. But yeah, so that's quite a good feature as well is the auto placing. But as I say, that's working because the panoramas would have had GPS data and the map is um, geolocated on, or, or the floor plan is geolocated on maps. Right, what I want to show you now then is what we're going to be doing with the floor plans in the skin. So I'm going to click tour map just to hide it and then I'm going to open up the skin editor. Here we go, so there's the skin and what I'm going to do is select the um, map tool or draw map element. So I'll click on that and we're going to draw a map element. Now in version 5 what this did was put a Google map in your panoramic tour. What we're going to do now is I'm going to select the map and you can see that I can now change from map to floor plan. And what this will do is bring in the floor plan um, into the into the project. So instead of showing a Google map or a map, we're going to show a floor plan. Now I'm going to select a start floor plan. So that's my uh, map 01. And we have a, a few settings here. Now simple floor plan means um, I'll just use the map image. We won't be able to zoom it or anything else. It's just the map image. If I deselect that, what we can do is put in a high resolution map. Um, we do need internet access, but we'll then use the map API and it'll tile it. So it'll multi-resolution the map so we can zoom in and zoom out. And then we have the options where we can um, add the map controls or not. And we've got the center node. Now, I don't actually have a high enough quality map image to show you this, but if with this selected, what would happen is, if I've got um, a, a large high resolution map with multiple nodes on there, as we moved around the panorama, this would keep the active node center in the maps window. And this also works for the map as well as the floor plans. Okay, so that's what that does. But here we've got the interesting one I wanna show you is the auto switch. Uh, floor plan. So if I close this and save, what I'm going to do is publish out. Here we go. And what we should see now is my floor plan. This is the one that's using the API because I've got internet access. And you can see I can spin it around and click the nodes and the floor plan is all functioning. Right, okay, cool. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is I haven't done this yet. So I'm going to go back to, um, well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of the filter so I can see all the nodes. And I'm going to go back to the hall and I'm going to add a node um, from the landing onto the stairway. Now the idea is, um, if I now publish this and show you what's going to happen, is that whilst I'm in the hall, if I click on the hotspot, it takes me to the landing and it will do exactly what we set it to do. The floor plan will automatically change. Now obviously I've got no other hotspots here, so I'm just going to quickly add a few more. So if I go to the landing, I'm going to um, set one here to go back to the hall. Here we go. And then I'm going to set one here to go up to the second landing, second floor landing. So if I go back to that one or go to that one, and I'm going to set another hotspot here to come to the other landing. There we go. All right. So with that done, I'm just going to click um, publish out. So spin it around and you can see that I've got all my hotspots. I can move around. I'm going to click on the uh, landing. We um, change nodes as we said we would. And if I click on the, uh, the second floor, again, we change nodes again. So the map will automatically track us. We don't have to add any options or any um, actions to make this happen. It just works. The way it works is as soon as it detects a node on a particular floor plan, it switches to it. There you go. So that's the auto floor plan switching function. Right, I want to show you one more thing. So I'm gonna close this down and we're gonna go back to the uh, skin. And what I want to show you is we can use, hang on, let's just move this to one side and bring up the skin. We can use custom map pins as we did with our Google map. We can do this with the floor plan. So 
do 32 by 32 make it a bit smaller I'm going to set that up there and I'm just going to give that the ID of um, map underscore pin and then what I can do is select the map and open that up and I'm going to clone as marker uh, the map pin here we go so that's the map pin so now what will happen is when I publish this instead of the uh, the red dots everywhere we've now got our custom map pin now to make this work if you click on it it's not working um, to make it work what I needed to do is to give the map pin an action so that would be mouse click um, open next panorama that would be hotspot URL and default view uh, close and publish and that should now all function so we can click on these and make them work now if you notice the radar beam slightly off and that's because I forgot to do something and that is um, when you're cloning an element for the map um, the radar beam will come from wherever the anchor point is so if I want it to come from the very tip at the bottom I'm going to set the anchor point there okay the other thing I could do as well is add another graphic and give it a visited action so I could also have visited um, graphics so I can see which what what nodes are visited in a floor plan so I'm just going to save this um, publish out and we should see this all functioning so there's the radar beam now coming out from the bottom of the pins and there you go so that's showing you that we can use custom um, map pins um, as we did with the maps okay so that's how to use floor plans in pano 2 vr and as always thanks for watching